Hi buddy, uh, hello and welcome once again. Now, in our last uh, video, if you remember, we looked at how to start a profitable uh, butchery business. So today you want to see how to start a profitable bank agency business, right? Now, uh, these are very uh, lucrative uh, business to venture in, uh, since most banks have offered <coughs> this particular opportunity to individuals to open their uh, bank agents and actually partner with them right so we are going to look at maybe some of the things that you need to put into consideration uh, things such as the capital uh, maybe the bottlenecks right and what is expected of you uh, to maybe start this particular uh, business so a quick overview of the application process maybe the first part right now uh, just before we look at the application process, uh, let me maybe make you understand that I'm just going to use Equity Bank as an example, right? So we have many banks that actually you can associate with, right, that provide this particular agency option. So in my case, uh, I'll just single out uh, Equity Bank so that at least we can always replicate this particular information and maybe... Uh, be aware of what other banks might also require from you now the good thing is that there's a common uh, ground in all these particular uh, banks as you're going to see because they are all regulated under the cbk so normally everything that is going to be expected from you from one particular bank to the other might always be uh, the same so let's look at a uh, very first the application process so, as I mentioned, the exact process of applying and being granted a bank agency will vary uh, from bank to bank. Of course, they have their own requirements. Now, the first step will involve actually visiting the nearest branch uh, of the bank that you want to associate with that uh, is close to you, right? So, I hope you understand why it is important to have to visit the closest uh, branch, yeah? Because uh, you'll require or the agent will... Uh, this particular bank will require to monitor or it's even uh, advantageous to you so that if you have some queries you can always uh, visit this particular uh, bank so it's uh, advisable uh, to actually uh, check with the nearest uh, branch secondly uh, you need to look at the requirements that they'll offer and you have to uh, fulfill them of course you won't fulfill them uh, at, one, at once but is uh, recommended that uh, once you fulfill the requirements is when you begin uh, the application uh, process as a matter of fact you are dealing with the bank and the bank we handle money so mostly you'll, they'll expect you to have a certificate of good conduct right which you'll have to get from the CID headquarters you they also need to look at your credit uh, refu uh, reference uh, bureau right uh, such as the Mot uh, metropole and so on so you have to uh, actually uh, bring forth this particular uh, document. So now, the part two of this, so once all these documents have been checked and they are ready, now you can always present them uh, to the bank, right? Now, once in the bank, the bank will actually <coughs> send their representative who will visit your business and appraise it. Just look if it is... Uh, uh, if it meets the requirements. Of course, uh, this uh, visit will come with its own uh, share uh, of maybe information. They need to gather information such as uh, the traffic that you attract, for instance, right? Uh, for instance, the, the competition around that is are uh, there other uh, agents, uh, agencies around? And of course, uh, most importantly, the security, right? How secure? is your business amongst other factors once they have consolidated this particular information they are going to make a report which <laughs> will determine whether they are going to approve or grant you that uh, opportunity to be their agent or are not so as you proceed with the application process they will also require you to, ap to apply for some fees which you are going to look at Actually, these fees forms uh, the larger capital that is required from you, right? So, of course, they are going to give you the point of sale, uh, books to record, transactions, branding materials you'll be required to provide, and so on. Of course, branding, you're the one to cater for. 
So yes, uh, this is just a nutshell of the application process, all what you need, right? Then let's look at the requirements, the specific requirements uh, from a given bank. Uh, as I mentioned, we are going to use equity as, a, as an example. So if, for instance, you want to uh, partner with equity, uh, they'll ask you for your national ID, of course, certificate of good conduct, as you have seen. They'll have to look at the strategic business physical location. That is a very important thing. That's why they need to send a representative to check. Your business should be exi uh, in existence or operation for a minimum of 12 months. Of course, you need some business permits for the existing business. Now, this is a challenge for the starting business. So you have to acquire additional uh, permits, right? Uh, you have to showcase or show proof of your current assessments for the last six months. Uh, of course, the bank loan assessments from any other institution for the past say, 12 months. So that applies to the individual. And of course, certificate of registration of a business, a credit reference bureau, and so on. Uh, for companies, you will uh, need to uh, supply additional uh, documents, right? Like board resolution for partnership, audited financial records, and so on. So yes, other banks might require other requirements, or uh, but better still, the requirements will surround the ones that you have mentioned, right? Now, uh, that is the requirements from equity. What are the, your expected commissions? Because here is where you're going to make profit. So is it worth it? So this is a place that you'll uh, maybe uh, look at the surrounding and see whether you have the <laughs> enough traffic to uh, maybe use your services and so on. So as an agent, you'll be paid commissions based on the value of different transactions as shown. So you can say uh, maybe the deposits range from 100 to 5k, a commission gets 10, above 20,000. For the withdrawal, the same. And kindly note that uh, based on maybe uh, the changes of uh, the transaction charges might always change with the time. So I'm not saying that these are the <laughs> static or the actual figures that you might get right now, right? So you just need to keep on updating yourself with what is on the ground right so yes uh, those are the expected commission as far as the equity bank is concerned here is where I know most of us are waiting the required capital so what must you have in total for you to start this business of course you've already looked at them so you need to have at least a minimum of a hundred and thirty thousand shillings Kenya shillings yes which you can ideally break them down as follows. So the float that will be given, uh, or the float that you need to have is 100K. The point of service or sales, uh, you need to have to have it, 5,000. Uh, the CBK agency application fee, you have to actually apply uh, with 1,000. You need other additional certificates that you have mentioned, yeah. And of course, the bank statements, all these ones, they are printed, they can total to around 10,000. They are bound, right? And of course, miscellaneous uh, charges such as uh, branding, uh, fees, uh, approximately 10,000 shillings, right? So yes, as I mentioned, we are assuming that this particular is a business that is in operation. But if you want to start from scratch, you will require to have additional what? Additional uh, licenses. Now, this is not, you're not only limited to one particular uh, bank. In a situation whereby maybe you want to open multiple agents or uh, uh, actually partner with different banks, you can always uh, factor in the additional charges. So if you want to uh, partner with more than four banks, you can should have at least half a million uh, Kenya shillings. Yeah. So yes, uh, that is the breakdown things might change but close to this either it can go up with the maybe some percentage or go down with some percentage but that is the required uh, capital in just like any other business uh, this business also might uh, come up or you might face some challenges right now one of the challenges is the low float of course that you are going to be given <laughs> or Yes, uh, that is always a challenge anyway. Uh, low commissions, 
of course where there is high competition uh, that's why i say that it's very important to check the traffic right the location uh, of course sometimes we face these technological issues yeah so downtimes that may make some services unavailable delays in payment of the commissions among uh, some banks bureaucracy and reconciling the uh, information in some banks and of course uh, just some laxity or poor support uh, from other banks right you see maybe once they realize that you're not making or bringing in as much profit <laughs> they lose uh, they don't give you the much needed attention right so those are the problems that you're likely to face so yes uh, buddy in conclusion there you have it right so in all cases you have to pay the CBK license fee that is 1000 which you need to pay to the central bank you need to have some kind of point of sales terminal which is 5000 which is new renewable in annually right and of course the duration of approval between approval and application varies from bank to bank right so let's like you need to give it up to a maximum of six months so you have to be uh, very uh, patient and just like I'd mentioned you are dealing with money people's money and you are also affiliated to the bank so trust issues here actually is a very important thing and of course security so you'll be expected to handle a lot of cash so that means as I mentioned you have to look at uh, you look for a certificate of good conduct right and a very uh, nice CBR uh, records right so so that at least you don't uh, get into uh, problems right so yes as a matter of fact this is just one business that you can venture in we have different businesses that you can always look at so should you uh, be interested in this kind of business or you want to have breakdowns for other banks just comment with the, uh, share your comment I'll kindly provide you with additional information and l subsequently we are going to look at other businesses and break down uh, their requirements in terms of capital and all of all those other factors now since I majorly uh, talk about online businesses it's also important that we look at the angle of lifting these physical businesses to present them online. So these are some of the things that in future we are going to look at in details and what are the challenges of having this kind of business being linked to uh, online. So should you find this information useful, ladies and gentlemen, click on that thumb <laughs> button, uh, the like button, and of course, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.